What's up everybody, this is the game Virus, also known as the Gia Virus, and this right here is a quick update on what's going on with my YouTube channel. It's been a little while since I've uploaded videos, a few weeks. I'm here to firstly tell you that I will be back uploading within a few more days. I will finish up those playthroughs, the playthrough to Tomb Raider, to Walking Dead, Resident Evil 3, with a knife only, Resident Evil Outbreak, and uh, Obscure. They will all be resumed within a few more days. So be on the lookout for that. I also returned to live streaming the other day. Um, if you have not shown up for my live streams, I have. I am doing live streams now here and there. Um, I had a really good run of live streams going uh, a little over a month ago, but I had to put them on hold so I could work on uh, other videos and other projects and stuff like that. But I recently returned to it. And if you have not checked out my live streams, please do. They are pretty awesome. The community um, of the infected of the game virus fans and subscribers uh, are in the chat and, and it's pretty fun. Uh, I have a great community, a great bunch of fans and they all talk to one another as well as talk to me while I play something and it's pretty fun. You should definitely check it out. So I will, I will be doing live streams once again um, more often than I've been doing recently. Um, alongside of my uploads, once those resume I'll be doing live streams all the time so those will be resuming and I hope to see you there for that if you haven't checked out my social media sites please do um, I have a patreon page where you can donate if you so choose if you want to help me out if you've consumed my content this free content and you think I'm good and I've brought you entertainment and you think I'm a great let's player amidst all the let's players who might not be so great if you think I stand out and uh, I'm one of your faves feel free to give a donation um, if you want it would be greatly appreciated um, I currently have about about four patrons right now who are actively donating to me and I want to thank them and give them a shout out we have Joe uh, Muse or Muse I'm not sure quite how to say it um, John Eckenrod uh, Andrew Fisher and per D Berg I want to thank you guys for your donations I really appreciate it you guys are awesome um, also through their donations I was able to purchase some of the extra costumes you see in this video right here I was able to purchase them solely from their donations and I used them on uh, one of my live streams of Resident Evil Zero that I did and we checked out these costumes that I got through their donations totally live for the first time that's that's on my channel all my live streams are archived on my channel if you want to check them out they're all there uh, we, we, we sat back and you know we talked about the outfits and how cool they were I really love the outfits they're pretty damn cool a lot of them are retro outfits from Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2 as you can see this is director's cut Rebecca from Resident Evil director's cut that was released in 97 this is that outfit with the red shorts and the, you know the red I guess this was this was her original model this was how she was originally supposed to look but you know that that whole thing was possible through the donations and it, it was pretty damn cool to see everybody's reaction to the outfits and see what they thought of them and which one was their favorites live I hadn't looked at them yet until I uh, downloaded them and started up the stream so that was a cool thing if donating to patreon is not your thing or you want an alternative while I live stream you can actually donate to me while I live stream if you like what you're seeing if you're having a good time in the chat and I'm entertaining you and the, and the community is awesome and you're having fun you can donate while I'm live streaming through the use of super chat there should be an icon at the bottom of the chat box with a dollar sign and you can donate and it'll show your name on the on the live stream um, over it'll be an overlay I think on the game that I'm playing on my stream it'll say your name and I think you might even be able to put a message there or something and I'll definitely read your message or read your name and shout you out and thank you for your uh, donation if you if you want if you're feeling generous um, so yeah those options are available to you I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot more live streaming it's just so much fun um, um, live streaming is going to keep complimenting the videos that I upload all the time to YouTube, my regular Let's Plays. So check those out. Also, add me on Facebook. Um, a lot of people have added me on Facebook, and Facebook is actually where I interact with my uh, fans who have added me a bit more. Um, I, I, I've had several conversations with a lot of my fans and subscribers on there, like long conversations in the messages box where they have questions for me. Or they just want to get to know me more. 
or know my plans for the future, stuff about games, stuff about Resident Evil. Yep, I'm more active on there than I am necessarily the comments section of YouTube. It's just, uh, yep. So if you want to have a more, uh, uh, if you have questions for me and you want to have a more, uh, more interaction with me, Facebook is your best bet. Uh, definitely follow me on there. Where I'm also posting on Facebook pictures and thoughts on things and uh, updates on the channel and just whatever I'm doing in my day to day in regards to gaming or entertainment or anything like that. Also check me out on Twitter where I'm doing the same updates on the channel. You can message me if you want. I send out my thoughts, just questions, you know, funny stuff, just whatever I'm doing at the time. Whenever an, an announcement happens, I talk about that ask you guys what you think and you guys respond and I'm definitely having more of a dialogue on my social media channels that's why I pretty much made them was so I could have more of a more of a um, 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 a more in-depth interaction with you guys as opposed to the YouTube comments the YouTube comments thing is annoying I don't really I don't really like the YouTube like having long conversations with you guys through the comments section but um like it's just it's just annoying to get to the comments on YouTube, especially on mobile devices and stuff like that. It's just too many button presses to get there, and um, a lot of times the replies don't even pop up to my phone. Like the initial comment will, but like let's say I reply to you and then you reply back. Sometimes I don't even see that. And I don't know. It's just much easier to have a more in-depth interaction with you guys through Facebook or Twitter. But. Don't get me wrong, I still see all of your YouTube comments. Okay. I'm not saying don't use the comments section of YouTube, absolutely use them. Basically, I would suggest use them for reactions. Like if you liked the video or if something happened that was funny or stuff like that, feel free to comment in the YouTube section, the YouTube comment section. I see those all the time. I see all of them, 99% of your YouTube comments, I see. It's just if you have questions and you want a more in-depth conversation, um, you know, you want to inquire about something or you have more meaningful stuff to ask you or say, yeah. I encourage you to use the social media platforms for that. But, you know, if you're just doing your reaction like this was funny or you're awesome or hey, you know, stuff like that, YouTube comment section is fine. I see it all. It's just when it gets to replying back and forth that it can get feel real. It can feel real sloppy with YouTube. If you guys want to talk to me more, hit me up on those social media. Also, Instagram, I'm uploading pictures to that all the time. Funny, silly stuff. And um, check me out on there. And, uh, yep, if you guys want to be notified when, because I know a lot of people have complained that they didn't even know my videos were uploaded. Like, some videos they never saw before, and I guess they decided to check out the Game Virus's channel. And they're like, oh, wait, he has a video, he has a playthrough of Resident Evil 2 with the knife only going on right now. I didn't know that, or YouTube didn't notify me that you were doing this game, or that you had started a playthrough like this. I get that all the time. So if you guys want to actually be notified whenever I go live, or whatever a particular playthrough is uploaded, or any type of updates, and you're not on my social medias, you can um, you actually need to click the bell next to the subs next to the subscribe button. So if you are subscribed to me, there should be a bell that you can click on that will give you notifications for pretty much everything I do. So as soon as I upload a video or a new a new entry to a playthrough or a new playthrough period, you guys will be notified right away. Because a lot of times if people have a lot of subscribers, I can, you know, a certain channel can get lost in the shuffle, can get lost in all the all all the updates that you might get a day, you might not even see. Or you might gloss over it, but if you actually hit that bell, you will get notifications right to your device or whatever you have. I think it will be your mobile phone um, that I have new content available for you. Um, so definitely hit that because I know a lot of people have complained that they didn't even know I was doing a game or they thought I was still on hiatus and they didn't know I was back to making videos. You know, there's a lot of times I would be back for a while and people would be like, welcome back. And I'm like, I've been back already for a long time and it's just like you know YouTube's funny like that you know so definitely hit that bell and um that's pretty much it uh, the next wave of videos I have coming of playthroughs of let's plays after this current one finishes once I finish the walking dead obscure tomb raider resident evil 3 with the knife only and uh, outbreak once those are done we're gonna really have some fun so uh, that wave of videos is going to be crazy. You guys have been asking for a lot of these games for a long time. 
It's highly anticipated stuff, so it's going to be pretty awesome. You guys definitely need to stay tuned for that. It's going to require a lot of work, though, because I want to be, I want to have my A game for those playthroughs. I want to be on point. I want that to be some of my best work, because these games are very popular games, and games that have been requested for so long. I got to make sure it is, like, my best most top-notch material that I can possibly produce when those games come out. When when I'm ready to do those Let's Plays. So stay tuned for that. I'm, I'm certain you'll get these before 2017 is over. Because we're actually pretty close to finishing up every current playthrough that I have going on right now. There's really not that much left of them. So once those are up and out, it'll be time for some real heavy-duty stuff. Some real fun stuff is coming, guys. Um... So yeah, in the next few days, expect the, the current playthroughs I have to be finished up. Um, if you guys want to donate, you have two ways now with Patreon and Super Chat. I'll definitely be doing more live streams. They will be complementing my my uh, regular uploads, my daily uploads. They will There will be live streams, not daily, but at least a couple times a week, maybe two or three times a week. There will be live streams. Live streaming is just too much fun. And, uh, yep, that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys soon. This is The Game Virus, and I thank you guys for all of your support. It's been awesome, and there is more goodness to come, and I hope to see you there. Thank you for checking this out. Later.